Hello my beautiful cancers and welcome to your love reading. So today we're going to be seeing what is coming towards you in love, okay? Um, please remember the energies in the readings can go vice versa, so just take what resonates, switch your gender, switch the roles, do what you have to do, okay? And leave the rest. Um, if you'd like to book a personal or information on how to do so is in the description box below. Um... What else was I going to say? So we're going to be seeing what is coming towards you um, with Oracle. We're then going to clarify with the Tarot. And then at the end, we're going to pull a self-love message. Because without self-love, you know, you can't be accepting of true love, okay? So the overall energy that wanted to come out for you was unavailable. But it's flipped in the reverse, okay? But we're going to read both. It says, busy, absent, take busy, absent, taken, and hard to reach. Um, in the reverse, it says emotionally unavailable, flaky, and non-committal. At the bottom of the deck, we have in your dreams, which reads manifesting deja vu, patience, and blissful. So with these two cards, I feel like I'm getting like for some of you, you were dealing with somebody that's just, they were very in and out, very back and forth. One minute they're with you, one minute they're not. It's almost like with the dreams card, this person was almost a bit of like an illusionist. You kind of never knew where, whether or not you were coming or going with this person okay um i feel like deja vu it almost feels like the same thing is happening again so if you are reconnecting with someone i don't know if this person has changed okay um i feel like somebody is just very emotionally unavailable you know you are you rule the moon you're a very emotional sign so you could be just dealing with someone that's just not very in tune or in touch with their emotions i do feel like this person thinks about you a lot as well but i feel like for some of you you're just dealing with like a fantasy okay somebody could just be feeding you dreams because somebody here is very flaky okay i feel like you haven't spoken to this person since december or you've been counting down the days whether or not somebody's gonna contact you or reach back out to you okay um yeah you also could be trying to manifest communication from somebody as well because I feel like, you know, we do have the word patience here. So it could be saying that, you know, to be patient. But I feel like some of you have been being patient with someone. You know what I mean? Someone just, you know, they're just not. <sighs> ay, ay, ay. Okay, let's just see. Let's just see where this is going. Okay, let's just get some additional cards for that energy for my beautiful cancers. I just feel like you're very confused. Okay. Um, yeah, we have a loving gaze that wanted to come out and then we have soft whispers. Yeah, and you see behind her, you know, it's like the devil that's playing the flute with the whispers here. That's what I'm getting. It's almost like someone's kind of like telling you what it is that you want to hear. But something isn't materializing or, you know, somebody says something and then they fly away. They like, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Oh, okay. <laughs> or this could be you, you know, you... The moon goes through phases, okay, but let's just see, let's just see where this is going, okay, um, yeah, because I feel like someone is very much attracted to you, or you're very, it's almost like you're in your dream state, because, you know, you draw, you, you know, you rule the, the dream world and things like that, I mean, you rule the, the moon, you know people's secrets, okay, I feel like Cancers and Pisces are quite similar to, um, um, in that sense, because, you know, you can, you're very intuitive signs. I mean, she's sleeping there and it's almost like she's thinking about someone. This is kind of like what you want. So you, some of you could be single, but you're just not getting it or you're just not getting it from this person. You know, you're very, you know, you're homebodies. You like to be at home and like be the mothers and nurture and things like that. But I feel like you want the person of your dreams, but it's just not this person or... Someone just isn't delivering here, but let's just see, because, you know, it could go in a different direction. Let's just see, guys. So this is for my beautiful. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, so we have the possessive lover, which reads jealousy, obsession, and restriction. Yeah, because I was trying to avoid that, because underneath this card, we did have jealousy and possessiveness. And I thought, I, you know, I wasn't going to read that, but it's come out. So I feel like, um, and at the bottom of the deck, we have the incubus and the succubus, um... Scorpio just got this, which is lust, temptation, and toxicity. Yeah, I feel like this is all somebody is interested in. This is why they're very flaky. They're very in, um, in and out. Somebody here is non-committal. Okay. I feel like somebody just wants to possess you. They just want to control you. But they don't actually want to be with you. Okay. 
yeah and then we have the best friends that wanted to come out which reads friendly advice another perspective and confiding yeah so some of you could be trying to get some advice about this relationship or about this person or what to do okay or maybe you're thinking that you just want to be friends this could also be somebody who is a friend but you're not interested in them maybe your friend is kind of quite possessive over you and you're just like nah i don't see you like that could be dealing with a Gemini because they had that type of energy in their readings. I feel like for some of you, you just see someone as a friend. Um, and they keep trying to come onto you, but you're you you know you're just like, no, I don't really want you like that. For others of you, I feel like you're trying to get advice about this person or about attracting love into your life because we do have um the romance angels, which actually was randomly in the reverse, which says Cupid's arrow, love struck an ideal partner. Yeah. It's what I feel like you're trying to manifest, the person of your dreams, your, your ideal partner. I feel like someone is trying to make you believe that you are their ideal partner or that they're yours, but they're not, okay? Or somebody could be in love with you or you're, you're in love with someone, but they're just not... Somebody is just jealous and possessive and controlling, but they're not about the love. That's what I'm getting. I feel like you're about the love and somebody else isn't. Yeah, underneath that we have old school vintage chivalrous dates courtship and photos yeah and then we have the just friends card here so you know but let's just see where this is going so please can't find the possessive lover or somebody could be playing mind games with you maybe somebody's acting like they don't love you but they really do but maybe somebody's afraid of their emotions okay yeah dominance this is what i'm getting Okay, and then we have the Divine Feminine. Yeah, I feel like for some of you, your Divine Feminine is like, you deserve better than this. If you're dealing with somebody like this, just cut them off, please, and thanks, before we get into the reading. Because I feel like someone's playing someone's playing games, you know what I mean? They're like, yeah, you see how she's holding the moon there? That's You brought the moon. Maybe you're dealing with a twin flame as well that's running away from their emotions. But yeah, somebody here is all about the sex. Okay. Somebody wants to dominate and control you or keep you on a leash. I also feel like this is a form of control. Somebody, um, they they act flaky and they go in and out because it's a way of them controlling you. Because obviously you're going to be like, okay, well, why are you not speaking to me? Why are you not reaching out? You're going to keep reaching out to this person. So I feel like you need to cut the cords here, okay? Because you see, they've got a cord that their, their, their antennas are attached to each other. You need to cut that. Because somebody's playing mind games with you. They're trying to infiltrate your psyche. I feel like intuitively you know this as well. But maybe you're just kind of like blinded by love here or something like that. Somebody just wants to control you. Literally, they want to put you on a leash. You see how he's holding her? Um, you know, he's holding her like almost like she's like a dog. Like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, normally I would describe this as a very sexy image. But the energy that is around... Mm -mm somebody wants to take control of you okay with that pullback energy he's pulling her head back and your our hair represents our antennas so it's almost like someone keeps pulling you back to them but they're not really like somebody wants you to chase them basically please clarify the best um friends yeah we have past that wanted to come out this could be somebody from your past or again this is something that's resurfacing this person keeps doing this I feel like you were really good friends with this person in the past as well. Maybe you saw this person as an ideal person, but somebody has like control issues here. I feel like somebody always likes to be in control and I feel like you cannot be controlled. So that's the problem here. And then we have the groom. Okay, so for some of you, somebody could be married. Yeah, freedom. I feel like you need to free yourself from this. Somebody could be married here and that's why they keep acting flaky or they're in a commitment with somebody else if it's not marriage i thought like this could have been somebody who you saw as somebody who you wanted to commit yourself to but um you know but i feel like this is what's coming an ideal partner is coming somebody who loves you respects you appreciates you you know yeah underneath that we have the water that runs deep so this is somebody you know that will share emotions with you somebody can be who could be transparent with you i feel like you know whoever you're dealing with they're just they have commitment issues now you know it does say um non-committal here and this is a card of commitment so maybe this person is going to miraculously change okay let's see what the tarot has to say this is for my beautiful cancers yeah, we have the seer that wanted to come out and then 
the emperor of passion the king of wands i feel like someone thinks with their dick here i mean i just have to keep it 100 yeah and under, at the bottom of the deck we got the three of swords and that, that that's the harsh truth i'm sorry um yeah and the transformation the death card <sighs> with the seer again could be dealing with the pisces because i was getting that energy Someone is trying to con manipulate you and to control you using sex or somebody just wants to get all up in your psyche. But I feel like you know what this person is trying to do. You can read this person. You could be dealing with the reader as well. So maybe that's what it is as well. Maybe somebody runs away from you because they're scared of your intuitive gifts. Okay. It's like they take action towards you. It's almost like somebody appears like they're the king. Because the king is somebody who's very sexually controlled. He's been there, done it, worn the t-shirt. The knight is the one that's um in and out. I feel like somebody appears like they are the king, but really they're a knight. Or they are hiding a secret. Maybe you're a mistress here because it's the seer. The high priestess could represent a mistress. Somebody is hiding somebody. Or maybe somebody sees you as a bit on the side or someone's friend is not a friend. I feel like somebody could be married here. Because, you know, this could represent, you know, a third party situation, lies. Okay, finding out something that really hurts. Something is going to end in a breakup here. Or you may find out, like I said, that someone is married or they're already committed to somebody or somebody's just not, they've just been playing you. Okay. I feel like there's somebody from your past that you went or that tried to warn you about this person. Could be a fire sign. Okay. Or a fire sign is trying to break you up with someone. Okay. So let's get some information in regards to this situation. Yeah, because the soft whisper, it's almost like someone is, there's like a devil in your ear or a devil in this person's ear. So it's either for some of you, you're with your ideal partner and you're supposed to be with this person, but they have a friend that's getting involved or they have somebody on the side. Or for some of you, you're going to find out that somebody's married or they're committed to somebody. And that's why they keep being non-committal because they have some, they're hiding something from you. Okay, yeah. So are we seeing each other again or that wanted to come out? Exactly. You're, you're just, you don't know. And I know you know I'm watching you. You're watching me too. So yeah, I feel like you're both watching each other. Yeah, and it says, is it love or am I just lusting underneath? This is what I'm getting. I feel like it's a very lusty situation here, but there's no stability with this person. Can we get a message, please? Am I dreaming? Are you real? Wow, you are everything I have wished for. And I know I messed up really bad. Will you forgive me? Guilt is haunting me. Yeah, somebody knows that they lied to you or they broke your heart here or that's what's about to happen. So they somebody messed up really bad and they want to know if you've forgiven them because I feel like this person sees you as their ideal partner. Maybe they're realizing that now, but they were playing too many games. Let's see what the high priestess is or the seer. Let's just see what the seer is. The Ace of Cups and the Sun. Somebody could be hiding that they have a son or maybe they got somebody pregnant or that they have a new love or they could just be hiding their emotions, their feelings. But there is a, somebody could be hiding a Leo as well or, or another water sign. But I feel like something is going to come to light in this situation, okay? Yeah, we have Choose Wisely that wanted to come out. And at the bottom of the deck, we have Beauty. Yeah, I feel like it's something to do with your beauty. I feel like you're really attractive. So this person is very much attracted to beautiful people. Maybe this is something... Maybe you're dealing with someone who's very insecure as well. So this is what they do. You know what I mean? They, they kind of shoot their arrow because, you know, we've got the Romance Angels and we've got him with his love stick here. And they try to play games with pretty people because they're very insecure. You know what I mean? This is, you know... <laughs> okay we have um criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will um magically transform 
and you may not always understand why certain things happen however there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life through turmoil a blessing will be revealed yeah something is going to be revealed here okay And let's get a self-love message for you guys. I embrace all of me. I cherish all of me. I love all of me. Yeah, I feel like you need to love yourself. Okay. And I let go of what's not... I let go of what... Blah. <laughs> I let go of what's not good for me and receive all that is good for me. Yeah, I feel like maybe you just need to let somebody go. Because somebody here is like a heartbreaker. They're, they're hiding something from you. Um, yeah. It's a baby or another relationship or another person. Or they're hiding the fact that they just wanted sex or something along those lines. Okay. So I'm really sorry, um, Cancers, but you know, you can do better. If you want a really good reading, I did post a reading for cancers just now on my tiktok which was really really positive so you may want to go on tiktoks let ebony tarot and um um you know look at your message there okay because the sun was also in your reading so i feel like something is really going to improve when you focus on yourself okay whatever this situation is just let it go somebody is going to come towards you and love you with the romance angels but i just feel like you're just dealing with the wrong one here okay hopefully this isn't you okay doing this to someone but thank you so much if the reading resonated if you enjoyed it if you liked it subscribe hit the like button and let me know in the comments